Hello everyone, welcome to your 11th Grasshopper tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna take some um, curve basics and curve analysis in Grasshopper. So, first thing we're gonna do is open um, your open your um, Rhino, and I really want to make sure that everybody is double clicked on your top view. So be sure that um, we're on our top view. So if you just try like set multiple points so just say i want now don't make them too much uh, we don't want them too dense so yeah this should be enough uh, make something with this range and then open your grasshopper so what i want to do is actually um insert your points to grasshopper so just double click uh, type in point right click and set multiple points hit enter and now we have all these points um, in grasshopper so what you want to do is uh, if you double click and type in uh, NURBS okay before that if you go to your tab here we have um, parameters math set whatever uh, we have here actually a tab for curves so we can see we have a curve analysis here and we also have primitive curves and spline curves so and spline I mean um, you can just type in and check anyone you want and um, see uh, how they're being drawn but for this tutorial I'm just gonna talk about some of them so if you double click and then type in uh, NURBS so the NURBS curve is okay so if you just uh, connect your point to the uh, vertices you see that we have actually a curve that is drawn from starting from the beginning of our point to the end of it and you can see we have other two options so the first one is called the degree if you double click and then type in slider right click hit edit and let's say I want this to be 10 hit ok so if you connect this we can see that it's red and red means it's wrong and why is it wrong because it actually starts uh, with number one so if you just um, move in your slider you can see that it's actually working if you um, move it like make the number bigger so what you want to do is edit and then make the minimum one hit ok and then you'll be fine so what I want you to notice is that if it's one you can see that the curve itself is um, like really straight lines and really harsh and if you move in your slider you can see that it softens a bit and it's a little bit more um, smooth uh, when it comes to connecting the lines together okay so this is the NURBS curve the last one is actually uh, periodic means do you want your curve to close or not so if you just right click and go to set boolean you can see that it's on false so false means like no I don't want it to be closed if you go to true, you can see that it closes it um, from the beginning of the curve to the end. And you can see that um, we can mess around with the curve itself. So just right click, set boolean, hit false. Um, okay, so this is the first curve I want to talk about. The second one is called the polyline. So polyline is pretty direct. Um, if you just right click on your nerves and hit... Uh, like click on preview and then connect your points to the vertices again you can see that in polyline it's pretty basic it just connects a line from the beginning of your points to the end of it and this one is closed so if you just right click set boolean uh, if you hit true you can see that it closes your um, your line from the beginning till the end so set boolean again hit false um, the third one is called the poly arc and this is actually uh, one of the the, mo the fun, the most fun, the funnest, the most. Anyway, so um, if you just connect your point to the vertices, you see that nothing happens. And this is why I insisted that I wanted it in the top view. Because I can control the T here. The T is the vector or the, um, the direction. So... We have here in the top view the y axis and the x axis. So just double click and type in x, which is it will give you like unit x, and then connect the x to the t, the direction, and you can see that we have um, arcs that are connected 
between each point so uh, that's why I said at the beginning we don't need it to be dense because if you make too many points like the arcs will be really small and um, very not like it's not gonna be so uh, clear how the arcs work so you can see that we have here arcs between each and every um, point we have so and also the, the last one is closed so just set boolean and if you hit true we can see that it's a one one curve it's closing um, like the whole curve so just right click set false and you can have these um, polygons so these are just like what I wanted to say uh, like what type of curves I want to explain and now I want to say uh, I want to explain something called curve analysis so if you just unpreview this so right click hit preview and let's work with the nerves mm, yeah okay so yeah this should be this should be fun if you double click and what a curve analysis is is basically well most people use it to just say i want a point and on the curve itself and this is really useful when you're doing uh lots of um definitions so let's say like you have a curve and you want the point on the curve itself so how to get that point is just double click and write, type in evaluate curve so we have to evaluate actually more okay what you want is the evaluate curve which is this one and you can see it needs two inputs so first input it wants a curve so this is easy so just click in and then you notice like nothing's happening because you actually need a slider and if you just double click and then type in slider and connect it to your to the T we can see or what's this the parameter uh, if you just move it you can see that the point is moving along the curve but to a certain degree like from 0 to 1 it stops here so let's say I want a point maybe here or maybe here well there's two ways to do it uh, in one of the tutorials we did it but it, it was a very sloppy way um, if you just right click and hit edit and if you just type in let's say 50 so it's like you're guessing so if you just hit okay you can see that you can actually move the curve uh, till the end and it's not pretty accurate uh, yeah like after 10 11 I don't know it goes away from the curve now what I want is actually to make the curve I want this point to be 0 and this point to be 1 and I want my slider to start from 0 to 1 and the, um, and the point that's on it is moving um, along the curve so what you want to do is just double click get in your standard slider which is from 0 to 1 okay if you connect it the trick is is actually going here to your curve so if you just right click on the curve itself and if you just go down here to something called reparameterize it will actually make the curve itself from 0 to 1 and the parameter like see if we're in 0 so just click here it goes here and then if we go to one it ends at the, with the end of the curve so this is a little this is how to do it actually if you want a point on the curve um, to be exact so say if I wanted 50 um, like here if I make it 0.5 I know this is the middle of the curve okay so this is for evaluate curve the second one um, is called okay the second one is called curvature so if you just type in curvature and as you can see the same thing with evaluate we have uh, we need to we need curve we need a curve and we need a slider so if you just right click and unpreview this and then just connect it here again nothing happens you need another slider so the good thing is we have here the curvature already parameterized so it's from 0 to 1 and what you notice with the curvature that we have actually two things we have uh, a point and a circle that's moving with the point and the circle is like really different from each uh, curve so what it actually like what approximates is doing is it's drawing a circle that's as close as it gets to the curve itself so this is the circle that's um, that represents the curve uh, of that of that portion of the curve so 
Okay, so I think this is it for the curvature. Uh, the last thing is something called the curve graph. So if you just double click, type in curve graph. Mm, yeah, here. It's called curvature graph actually. So same thing needs a curve. And um, let's unpreview this and just connect our curve to the curve graph. So if you notice like here, if you just zoom in, we can see a graph that's going along the curve and it's calculating how much uh, curvature is doing. So two things you're going to notice. There's other two options in here. So the first one is the density and the second one is the scale. So if you just double click and get a slider, right click, hit edit, let's say 20. And if you just, uh, hmm. If you noticed it, you can see that it's more, it's calculating more, like how dense do you want the curvature to calculate. Um, okay, maybe it's not so obvious now, just if you make this 50. The thing is, is actually it's tricky, you can see it better when we have uh, a scale, so we'll go with the scale. If you double click and hit slider, oh never mind, just copy this one. You can see that you're actually not sure <clears throat> how big is the scale uh, in your curve. So what you want to do is just hover over the scale itself and you can see that... Actually, you have to delete this first. If you just hover over it, you can see that one locally defined value is 105. So <clears throat> we can see that the minimum is 105. So we just copy and paste this and then hit edit with the minimum. If you type in 105 and the maximum, let's say 200, you can get a better graph representation of um, the curve. So we can see that here with the density, you can see it a bit more or less dense. Um, and yeah, same thing with the scale, you can make it bigger or smaller. And uh, okay, so the thing is, uh, you can't actually bake the graph. Um, I think there's a script for it, or I think you have to actually do something where you um, do, um, what is that, like lofting and offsetting the curves and stuff like that. I think there's a forum on it for in Grasshopper um, 3D's forum, so uh, you might want to check that out if you actually want to use the graph and how to do it. But for this tutorial, I think this would be enough. Um, the most important thing actually, which mo with most definitions, is to understand the evaluating curve. Like if you have a curve and you want to point on that curve, uh, it's really useful to use the evaluating curve. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next tutorial.